Hello, my name is Mooncat and I am very excited to share a project I've been working on for the last week or so. You can see it on the screen right now. It's a sortable table where you can sort a bunch of different buildings by any boost or any production you are interested in. Now you can do a lot more as well with this table, with this tool. So in this video, I will go through all the things you can do, explain what all of these options are, what all of this is. But if you simply want to play around with the table yourself, you will find the link in the description and you can click on that and simply try it out for yourself. Now, one final thing before I start explaining all of this, if you do find this uh, table helpful, and if you find this video helpful, please leave a like and a comment because it really helps me out. And also, if you, again you find this helpful, feel free to share it with your friends or your guildmates, either the table itself or perhaps also this video. So with that, let me start explaining what all of this is. All right, so first of all, you've already seen me doing it. If you click on any of these columns, you will sort all of these different buildings right now 250 buildings by the value you have chosen. So for example, sort by attack or attack per tile, which is perhaps more more useful for most. Uh, you can sort by forge point, for example, a lot, a lot of different values to choose from. And don't worry, you can filter out which columns you see, and I'll go over that in a moment. Now, here you will see all the building names. And if you click on this, you will go to the fandom wiki where you can read up on the specific building to see some information. Uh, or specifically for the set buildings, uh, instead of doing that, it will go, it will send you to my event set builder where you can find the specific set I am talking about. Uh, in this column here, you will find that in the tool so that you can see exactly how it looks and all of that. So that's the basics of the table. Let's go over all of the different options. First of all, you can choose if you want to see the highest uh, level only of buildings or if you want to see all levels. So if I select all levels, it'll load in, takes a moment. And now instead of only showing the highest level, it will also show all uh, the other levels of a building as well. So if you sort by building name, for example, uh, you'll now see that all, all of these levels are available if you want to compare that. But I think for most people, it probably makes most sense to only compare for the highest levels of a building. Now, in addition to sorting by uh, that, you can also select which age you want to look at. So one fault in a lot of my analysis and other analysis as well, is that we often focus on the highest values of a building. But specifically when it comes to boosts, they are often lower in lower ages. So say for example, I am only in industrial age, which I am on one of my worlds, I can choose that age, and now all the values will be for that age uh, in particular. So now when I sort, I will get a different order here than if, if I was in uh, space age Jupiter moon. All right, the next thing you can do is that you can search for specific buildings. So let's look at stage of ages, for example. I can search for that, and now this will be available, and I can see all the stats for that. But if I want to compare this to other buildings, I can do that by simply choosing multiple buildings by separating them by commas. So if I also want to search for the cherry garden, for example, I can use a comma here and a new search, and it'll search for both of these at the same time. Let's also do checkmate, winner's plaza, for example. Let's also do sentinel. Takes a moment for it to come up, but it should come up in, there we go. So now you have all of these different options. Uh, these in particular are the different daily specials you can get uh, for attackers in the current event, which is the fellowship event. So this is a nice way to compare all the different buildings in a given event with each other. So now you have all of these and you can compare different values and see which is best for you. So here, for example, if we are sorting by attack per tile, uh, this also includes roads, which I'll talk about in a moment, but if we search there, you will see that in industrial, the cherry sets are the best, but if we go back to Space Age Jupiter Moon, for example, you'll now see that the Winner's Plaza, Stage of Ages, Checkmate Square, and so on are better. So 
yeah, that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to make this, so that you could choose between different ages in addition to all of the other options as well. So yeah, and you can see that when this loads in, you will get a small status indicator so that you know when things are done. All right, so that's the basic configurations, but let's also talk about <laughs> this table here, <laughs> this here. So here you can select which columns you would like to see in this table. So if I use this shortcut up, shortcut up here, I can turn all of these columns off, and now you will only see the building name. And now I can start configuring a view that I want to see. So up here we have some building information. Uh, I can toggle all of these on and off uh, by with these buttons here, or I can choose individual uh, but, uh, options as well if I want to do that. So yeah, here for example, you have how many levels this building has, or how many pieces, how many selection kits you need, uh, if it needs a road or not, and also how many rows it needs, how big it is, and so on. So that's all of these options. And then you will notice that all of the different values, the different boosts, productions, and so on, all of these have four different options here. So this first one here is simply the raw value. This is how much the building gives. So when it comes to attack, for example, the state of ages gives 10 attack in industrial age. Uh, the next value here is attack per tile. So this value will calculate how much attack it gives uh, divided by the number of tiles the building has. So here, 10 attack boost divided by 16 tiles for 0 0.62 attack per tile, again, in industrial age. This next option here is also attack per tile, but this time also including road. That was the option that was available in the beginning. So now, not only does it count the number of tiles a building is, it also counts how many roads a building needs. So the way uh, the number of roads is calculated is quite simple. It simply takes the shortest side of a building, in this case both are four, and it divides that by two. And the logic here is that you want to uh, connect all buildings to their shortest side, but each road also uh, connect another building on the other side of the road, most of the time. So to get the number of roads required for one building, you take the lowest uh, or the shortest side and divide it by two. So that's the values used here. And now you will see that this is a little bit lower again here. But if the building does not require a road, these values will be the same. All right, then finally, you have value per level or value per piece. Uh, this, you can also consider this value per daily special during an event. And this will divide the value, in this case, attack value, by the number of levels uh, or selection kits you need to get the building uh, to that level. So for all of these cherry sets, for example, you need quite a few selection kits to get it to uh, these full states here. Uh, so it divides the number of, uh, or the amount of attack by the number of uh, selection kits you need to get the building. Uh, and here, for example, if you sort by here, you can see that even in lower ages, one place where these other options, like the stage of ages, winners plus, and so on, a place where those beat out the cherry set is when it comes to the amount of attack you get per daily special. So, so yeah, these are the four different options. Those are available for all the different values. So here you can mix and match to configure a view that you would like to see. So let's say I am also interested in attack, uh, let's say, or defense, sorry, for attacking army. Uh, let's say I want combined attack value. So this is simply just adding these two together. Uh, say I also want to see forge points and goods. I can select all of these and now all of these will be available in this table and I can sort by on a goods per tile, for example. But of course, these are all uh, uh, attack focused designs uh, or uh, buildings. So yeah, you can simply select what you want uh, and say that you don't need both of these. I can, for example, turn all of these off, only consider the attack values with road and so on. So here you can mix and match, pick whatever options you want, and though only those columns will be displayed in the table here. And yeah, to scroll, you can either use this bar in the bottom here, uh, you can also use middle click on most browsers to move back and forth and so on. So yeah, anyways, so when you have all of these options, 
If you want to share those with a friend, what you can do is that you can select this, copy that, and uh, share that with your friend. And now you will see that there are a bunch of things behind the link there. If I enter, uh, all of these options that you have selected will be available again. So the configuration is the same, uh, and uh, the age is the same, all of these options are the same, the search is the same. So that way, if you have a comparison you want to share with a friend, uh, you can do so, and all the same options, basically the same table that you are looking at, your friend will also be able to look at. And I think that's quite, <laughs> quite nice. So, uh, one final thing here, you have categories, uh, so building categories. Now, each building uh, is, uh, or the different buildings are categorized into eight different types. You have set buildings, or set designs, uh, settlement rewards, battleground rewards, Chain buildings, towers, which are sentinels and so on, residential buildings, which are most event buildings, event main buildings, culture buildings, and decorations. So we have all of these eight different options. Uh, one thing though to that I want to, <laughs> to mention is that each building only has one type. Uh, so say for example that a building, let's turn all, all of these off uh, and select settlement for example, Let's also clear out the search here so that we see all the settlement buildings. Uh, so, for example, when it comes to these settlement buildings, they are also all residential buildings, I believe. At least most of these are also residential buildings, but they only count as settlement buildings. Uh, they will not be visible here uh, under the residential uh, buildings here. And my reasoning for that is that if you want to uh, see the settlement buildings, uh, or if you don't want to see the settlement buildings, but do want to see all of the residential buildings. So this is, for example, all of the different uh, main rewards from buildings, or most of them are here. Uh, and you, you don't want to see the <laughs> settlement buildings, you should be able to turn those off. So each building only has one of these options. If a building is a settlement building, it will not be any of these other options. If it is a battleground building, it will not be any of these other options. If it is a chain building, it will not be any of these other options, and so on. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and yeah, I think that makes most sense sorting wise. All right, um, and I think actually that's more or less it. So yeah, I am really uh, happy with how this turned out. It was an idea I. Ooh, cruise ship. <laughs> it was an idea I came up with uh, during my summer break. And I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Uh, taking a bit of work, but uh, I do, I really do enjoy working on stuff like this. Uh, so yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, I will also add a written guide here <laughs> once uh, later today probably. So when you see this, there might be a written guide as well going over all of the things I have talked about now. Uh, but yeah, for now, this is more or less it. So. Hopefully you find this helpful. Again, you will find the link in the description. And again, feel free to share it with your friends or guildmates. And again, if you want to share exactly the view you are looking at, you can use this share link here. All right, before I end this video, let me thank my Patreons for their support. I would like to thank Homestar, Ford Prefect, Lorden, Rock and Robin, Kim Cayley, Joshua Clark, Rolf the Eighth, PQ the Goat, Dan Suminad, Eric B, Artler, Hugo Kant von Count, Jan Fredriksen, Judith Renves, Filda, Rush, Susan Weiss, Megarock, Rocco, Henrik Dagerkleber, Mattia, Opsi the Obsessed, Rath, Kim, XD, Adaril, Mike, Kenzie, Tachikawa, and Mindsy. Thank you all very much for your support. Thanks for watching, take care, and I will see you in the future.